Hi everybody, it's Joey. Um, I'm gonna do a very sad and depressing video. I actually filmed this like twice already and I kept stopping it and re-recording because I I'm just shook to the core right now. Um, you're, you're gonna be shocked about what I'm gonna say. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this. Um, I do want to say, however, my laptop did die. My laptop broke and I had to get a, not a new laptop, but the, the charger broke and I had to actually get a new charger. So there was two new videos I was going to upload in the last few days I couldn't, which was my 13 reasons why, like, opinion on the show and, you know, my, just my review on it. And then I was going to, I actually filmed a breakfast mukbang that morning, that same morning. So both videos will be uploaded, um, later on in the week. Um, in fact, there are two reasons why I'm just uploading now. Yeah, I'm going to upload it. Actually, I'm going to upload it right now. So I, while I'm filming this, you're going to get a new video. <laughs> Make it public and publish. That's it. All right. <laughs> There's a new video right now on my channel. Um, but you, this is gonna be uploaded out way after that, so you, you've already gonna been seen this video. There are two reasons why. Okay, um, let me shut my laptop off and then get to what this video is gonna be about. Um, so, Jeffree Star. Now, as you know, I love Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star Cosmetics, I have his makeup. All I wear is basically his makeup. Most of my makeup is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, Jeffree Star changed my whole outlook on makeup, my whole, my whole outlook on cosmetics, and just, he, he just inspired me so much. His channel and just who he is just inspired me so much. I'm ve it's very rare for me to be like a huge fan of like someone in the LGBTQ community. I don't, you know, but he, I, I just fell in love with. And, um, when I met him that time at the makeup class, he made my whole life, it made my whole world when I met him that day. But um, it brings me great regret to admit that I might have to cut my ties with Jeffree Star and Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to title this. I don't want it to be any type of attention-seeking title or anything crazy because I'm generally upset about this. I don't even know if I'm actually really going to do it or not. I'm confused. I'm conflicted. But recently, Jeffree Star's really good friend came out with a video um, basically um, admitting that um, Jeffree Star is a racist and that he hired a security guard that, um, that was racist. They got fired for saying the N-word. And he called Trisha Paytas a fat bitch or something or he just being very rude and mean and his best friend really couldn't stay friends with someone like this who is racist against Jewish people like he made fun of Jewish people and he says Jewish slurs and I love Jeffree Star but no matter who you are I can't support a racist or someone like that I just can't do it because then it speaks on my character like I had a best friend, you guys, a best friend. She was my everything. But I saw sides of her that were completely evil. And I just had to cut ties. So I relate to what this person, this Jeffrey, Jeffrey Star's friend was going through. Because um, I had to do something similar with a friend. But um, I, I can't support this. Like... I, I, I'm so conflicted and so saddened that I, cause I know there's so many stories that come out about Jeffree Star, and I'm always supporting him. I'm always sticking out for him all over the place, and I'm, I'm never like believing it or whatever. But at the end of the day, just too much shit has happened. He's always the common denominator. He's always the problem, the drama, and his best friend for ten years, you guys came forward you know what I mean it's like just so many people coming forward I don't know what to do I feel like I just found out my husband cheated on me you know I just I'm just so flabbergasted and just so upset and so disgusted with everything 
I really am. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. All I own is Jeffree Star makeup. I heard things about Shane Dawson too, that Shane Dawson's this racist, crazy psychopath. That what Jeffree and Shane portray on the camera is, is not who they really are in real life. That they basically put on a front. Because it's the thing, if Jeffree Star's a racist, that's crazy because he's been posting constantly about this Black Lives Matter movement. He generally seemed pissed off that these police officers were gonna be off the hook. Like he wanted these racist police officers to be in jail. And he seems so genuine. So I'm shocked that he was, he's this racist and that he's all this, because that's not what he portrays on camera. And he, he doesn't seem like the person that would hire a cop that's racist, knowing the cop is racist and got fired for saying the N-word, and to hire him to be a security guard. It's like, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I love Jeffree Star. I will always support, I will always have a special place in my heart for Jeffree Star. And his makeup is amazing. I think, aside from who he is, his makeup is bomb AF and it's the best. And I feel like I shouldn't judge him off his makeup company because they're two totally different things. I feel like his makeup has nothing to do with with his comments or anything. He makes good makeup, no matter what he is in real life or whatever he is, racist or not. His makeup is, you can't fault his makeup. You just can't. Um, hold on. With that being said, I'm going to leave this video where it is. I'm not going to make it that long. I just wanted to come and just say my thoughts for the moment. It didn't even blow up yet. Like, he put, the friend posted this video a couple days ago, and it got deleted right away and everything. So, it didn't even blow up yet. Like, Trisha Paytas didn't even comment on it or anything. So, I don't know what is going to happen in the next few days or not, or the next week. Like, it could blow up, and it could ruin Jeffree stuff for good. And I don't know if I can continue to be a fan and I was like his one of his number one fans you guys know this but I think even someone who is who loves someone like I love Jeffree Star sometimes when you see them for who they really are it's a shock at first but then you get over the shock and you're like okay like this is this person I can't support it I just can't do it I can't do it it just comes to a point where you gotta sever the ties. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sever the ties. It's sad, I almost cried. I almost cried when I when I saw the video of his best friend saying all this stuff. Now, does it make it true? No. But at the end of the day, it's like too much shit has come out and it seemed like the friend was telling the truth. It, it, he did. Jeffree Star hasn't even acknowledged the video. He the, Literally, the, the very next day, he posted about his dogs and him cuddling and walking his dogs in his backyard. Like, nothing. So, he's basically glazing over it and not talking about it at all. But I think eventually he's going to have to speak up and defend himself because he needs to defend himself over this. Like, there's no way that he can ignore this. Like, this is, was a big... These are big accusations, you know what I mean? But if you guys were wondering, I am wearing Mannequin by Jeffree Star. I mean, I love his makeup. I do. Um, his eyeshadow powder wearing blood sugar. Perfume of the day was bomb bomb by Victor and Ralph, so. I'm just going to leave you guys there. Um, go check out. Well, you, this is going to be uploaded after this anyways, but go check out 13 Reasons Why Review. That's up on my channel. A couple of things about 13 Reasons Why they didn't say in the review. I'll just say it now, which this will be uploaded way after um, 13 Reasons Why Review anyways. But I do want to say a couple of things that were kind of like didn't make sense like this this season was horribly rated by the way no one liked this season i personally liked it but it didn't it didn't make sense i will say that um but just a couple of scenes like one scene when he's when they're doing the rally outside with the police officers at school like that would never happen in real life them destroying the school and breaking property that would never happen and something else happened that i was just like this would just never happen in real life like it just won't happen like no matter wh which way you spin it like it just would never happen in real life. Like, it just won't. And I forgot what... The protesting was one of the scenes. I forgot what the other scene was. Oh, no, I forgot what the other scene was. It was like... Oh. The... The drill with the guns. That would never happen in real life at a school. Even though I've heard that that has happened. But I feel like that's just not realistic. Someone having a drill at a school to... Like, a fire drill 
kind of like, but with guns. I don't know if that's realistic or that really would happen in, in, in school. I don't know. I mean, to be honest with you, it's just a lot of things that just do not make sense. But anyways, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, not enjoyed, but just... I will guys keep you I will keep you updated what I really do 100% how I really what I really decide to do I'm not gonna throw out all my Jeffree Star makeup tomorrow like it's not gonna happen like that like I bought all this stuff I love his makeup it's basically all I own it's just, it's just not gonna happen but I may have to not um, buy it anymore and you know and I still haven't gotten an, a, um, a rev uh, an email a shipping email yeah from Jeffree Star from my last um, order. So if I don't get that in like, even a week, like it's been almost a month since I ordered that, so if I don't get that in a week, I'm gonna have to contact Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Honestly, I might even tell them like, just forget it at this point, like just keep it and just give me my money back. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I thought I would at least get a shipping email at this point, but I haven't. Anyways, I love you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you guys have a good day. Alright.